this is Wilhelm. Uh, this is one of the stranger things that I've built recently, but I think it's gut-bustingly funny. I was uh, showing someone a compilation of uh, Wilhelm screams in movies who had never heard of it the other day. And uh, if you haven't seen that, it's really... Yeah, I see he's screaming already. It's really quite hilarious because it's the same sound effect that's used in, like, all kinds of movies. And uh, normally when someone is has been hit by something or is flying through the air or something like that, it was named after a character called Wilhelm, which is, it is the Wilhelm scream, and uh, he got shot in the leg with an arrow. So this is my Wilhelm, and uh, he has an accelerometer and a circuit that is like the sort of circuit that's designed for a customizable like greeting card that you can program sound into. And uh, whenever he flies and falls, he screams the Wilhelm scream. These audio circuits are actually pretty great. Um, they're really cheap. I think that I got two of them on eBay for like three bucks or something. Of course, the downside of that is that it gets on a boat from China or wherever it was manufactured and uh, it takes forever to get here. But I actually cheated and ordered a couple and then went backpacking. And when I got home, these were waiting for me. And uh, there's an LED that comes with it, a, uh, a speaker, a microphone, and two buttons. One of those is the record and one of those is the playback. So. This is whatever was recorded in the factory. So I don't know if that means like testing in Chinese or something like that. But you can put in your own message and say testing one two three and then play back. So I just recorded the Wilhelm scream and then I desoldered all of the excess pins from here, replaced the playback button with the accelerometer and linked in a, uh, an analog accelerometer that's intended to be used with like an Arduino or something. And uh, that's basically all that happens. So the accelerometer, I'm using the, the free fall detection pin and I have that linked right into the switch that is the playback switch on here. So anytime that it free falls, and shoot. Yeah, free falls and then stops, it screams. Of course, all the limbs are made of foam, which makes it really bouncy. So sometimes it doesn't scream for a while. Well, it's gotta be louder. That might be overkill. It ohms half a watt. Eight ohms half a watt. It's just bigger. The accelerometer module has a whole bunch of pins on it, but I'm actually only using three. The 3.3 volt input power supply, although I'm actually only powering it at three volts, the ground, and the zero-g detect. The zero-g detect pin goes high whenever the system determines that it's in free fall, so it's reading effectively zero on all three axes. The sound recording circuit originally had a momentary switch that would short one of its pins to ground, and that was the trigger that said, start playing noise now. All that I've really done to connect these two circuits is to run the accelerometer off of the power supply, the three volt battery cells that came with the audio recorder, and to link the zero G detect pin basically directly into the trigger pin of the uh, audio recorder. It's just that I've put it through a low pass filter to try to make it a little bit friendlier and a little less choppy when the signal gets to the recorder. So these are Wilhelm's completed guts. It's pretty... <laughs>
He's already yelling. He knows that he's going to be thrown repeatedly once he's done. He doesn't even have a body yet and he's screaming. But uh, this is the accelerometer that is detecting the falls and <laughs> many falls as I'm picking this up and throwing it around. And this is the audio playback unit which I have attached the accelerometer to in place of the switch that normally would fire the audio playback. And I've done that through a little bit of a filter. And uh, the last change that I made was to replace the stock speaker that came with the audio unit with a much larger speaker, a, a larger cone, but actually same power rating on the speaker. And uh, it sounds a little better, just something from the random box of speakers. So now Wilhelm needs a body. And uh, I've got some random pieces of wood laying in the garage. I've got some PVC back there. I'd really like to be able to use metal for pieces of it, but I'm just going to scavenge and see what I come up with. A piece of foam. A big piece of plywood. Metal. Oh, that's way too heavy. And that TV. There we go. The Mark II camera slide rig is going to bite the dust here. Cheeky little bastard, isn't it? Can I hit the switch? switch. Oh, panic! Uh, panic. panic! So if we went into the eighth, it's What? What? Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a, it's a panic box or what?